good morning students today we will learn the concepts of relations and functions so what do you mean by relations if for a relations also you should have two set and for functions also you should have two sets so what is the main difference here is if you have three elements in set a and if you have three elements in set b where an element from set a can be mapped to set b where if I say 0 it is not mapped to any of the element that's okay if I say 1 it is mapped to only one element and if I say 2 it is mapped to two elements that means if I ask you for the element mapping of 2 you have to tell either 4 or 5 so there is a conflict so these kinds of situations where a given element single element is mapped to two different element in another set such kinds of functions are known as uh, such kinds of function leads to relations such kinds of functions leads to relation that means as simple as uh, you can understand relations like this where element of a is mapped to element of b where you do not have any kinds of conditions where you do not have any kinds of condition that is element of a is map to elements of b okay so that is relation coming to function there are certain condition for a function for an set to be a function first it has to be a relation that means there has to be a mapping from elements of a to elements of b okay there has to be a mapping from a to b so the what are the condition the first condition is that every element of a of set a should be mapped map to unique element unique means one and only one element in b that means you can take here you have three element that is zero is mapped one is mapped two is mapped so the first condition is satisfied every element is mapped so what to which element it is mapped to the elements that are present in b so zero is mapped to th only three 0 is not mapped to any other element and 1 is mapped only to 3 it is not mapped to any other element therefore 1 is a uh, 2 is mapped to only 4 it is not mapped to any other element so that means every element of a is mapped to every element that are present in b uh, it is mapped to the unique element in b observe here every element of b is not mapped that means always our focus is on set a Every element in set A should be mapped, not in set B. Even if some of the elements in set B are left without marking or without marked, it's okay. We do not have any problem. Okay. So now coming to the one of the very, very important topic that is where element, where the set A is known as domain. And set B is called co-domain. where these are called images and these are these element inside these element these are called pre images and you represent a function like this symbolically or you can represent like this where b is equal to f of a where b is called the image and a is the argument or the pre-image a is the pre-image of b where b is called image and a is pre-image of b okay 